Hi everyone, my name is Erica and today I'm going to show you how to create the spores plot that plots odds ratios and confidence intervals uh, using Microsoft Excel 2007. And uh, this method of creating plots was done by John Peltier and a thank you to him for sharing this method online. And for my tutorial, I'll be using data from a study that looked at the risk factors for prolonged opioid use after major surgery, and I'll be plotting specifically the patient characteristics. So our data is going to be split up into two different sections. So the first section is where we're going to keep our results, and the second section is where um, we're going to use error bars to create our confidence intervals. We're going to start with the first section here, and you can see that we have our factors, our lower and upper confidence intervals, as well as our odds ratios, and these were just taken straight from the study. In this, sec um, this next column, we're going to call it uh, factors, and we're just pretty much going to copy and paste what we had in the first column. But we're going to make sure to leave an empty cell between the title as well as our factors, uh, factor labels. In our last column, I'm going to call it the countdown column. And in this section, it's going to count the total number of factors that we have and count it down. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this equation into the cell. And the cells that uh, you use in the equation may differ from um, what's in this equation uh, depending on where you put your data in the Excel workbook as well as um, depending on the number of factors that you have. So I copied and pasted that and press enter. We have a total of eight factors and I'm just going to highlight that and expand and it counts it down. So we're done with the first section. Let's go ahead to the second section. You can see that we have our factors listed. In the next column, I'm going to call it the lower column. And this is where we're going to calculate di the difference between the odds ratios as well as the lower limit. So double click equals D4 minus B4. Enter. I'm going to re-highlight that and expand, and it calculates it for the rest of the factors. The next uh, column, I'm going to call it the upper column, and we're this time we're going to take the upper confidence interval minus the odds ratios. I'm going to hit equals C4 minus D4. Enter and expand. So our data is all set up um, and ready to go. We can now go ahead and make our forest plot. I'm going to highlight these factors here. And I'm going to do insert. And I'm going to select a stacked bar chart. And looking at our chart, you can see that none of our factors are listed along the y-axis. So to fix that, we're under the design tab, we're just going to hit switch row and column. And you can now see that at least one of the factors is listed along the y-axis. To uh, So we need to add the rest of the labels. So what I'm going to do is select the y-axis, right click, select data, and we're going to um, edit series number one. For the series name, we're going to select factors, and for the series values, we're going to use our countdown column, and just make sure to select the empty cell that's above and below the values. We're also going to adjust the horizontal axis labels, so let's go ahead and hit edit. And then we're going to select the empty cell that's above and below uh, our labels here. And now you can see that we have all our labels listed, but it's in the wrong order. 
uh, from what we have. So let's right click, format axis, and hit categories in reverse order. So now you can see that uh, the woman factor starts at the top now. So now we can go ahead and um, input our odds ratios. Let's go ahead and right click, select data. And what we're going to do is add a sort of placeholder for the odds ratios because pretty much anything that we add into the chart, it's going to add it as a bar chart, which we don't want. So let's hit add series name, we're going to call it odds, and then hit OK. And we want to change these red bars into a scatter plot. So select that, change chart type, and hit scatter. OK. Let's go ahead and add in our other, our other odds ratios values. Right click select data. For the odds, we're going to go ahead and edit that. Our series values will be our odds values. For our series Y values, we're going to select the countdown column again, but this time leave out the empty cells um, above and below the countdown values. Then hit OK. So now our odds ratios are uh, plotted into the chart now. It's looking a lot better. Before we go ahead and add in our lower and upper confidence intervals, let's clean up our chart a bit. So this secondary vertical axis we won't need. So select and delete. This, le this legend I'm going to get rid of. Delete. And you can see that our labels are not perfectly aligned um, with its specific odds ratios. So we're going to select that, our y-axis, right-click, format axis, and we're going to position the axis on the tick marks. So that fixes that there. For x-axis, uh, it, it's up at the top here. We don't want it at the top. We want it at the bottom. We're going to select our y-axis again, right-click, format axis, and we're going to put our horizontal axis at the maximum category. And you can now see that it drops it up down to the bottom. These, bo uh, these blue bars we don't need for our chart. So I'm going to select it, make sure that they're all selected, right-click, format data series, for the fill, we're going to do no fill. For the border color, we're going to do no line. Select. And you can see, now see that the bars disappear. For our x-axis, we don't need the values to go from 0 to 10. We don't need it that wide. Let's go ahead and adjust that. I'm going to right-click the x-axis, format axis. For our minimum fixed value, I'm going to put it as 0.5. For our maximum fixed value, I'm going to put it as 2.5. And our major unit, I'm going to put as 0.5. So it's looking a lot uh, better now. Um, we're ready to go ahead and add in our error bars. We're going to click the odds ratio values. Go into the layout tab hit error bars and more error bars options. And you can see here that Excel automatically adds in the horizontal axis bars as well as the vertical error bars. And we only need the horizontal error bars. So we're going to select the vertical error bars, hit delete, and that's get, that gets rid of those. We're going to go ahead and adjust our horizontal error, error bars. Make sure that they're selected. Right click, format error bars. We want the bars to go in both directions. We want it to, there to be a cap at the end. 
And for the error amount, we're going to customize it and specify its value. The positive error values are going to be the upper values that we calculated earlier, and the negative error values will be the lower values we calculated. Then hit OK. So we have our odds ratios as well as confidence intervals uh, plotted now. We can make some further adjustments. For example, these odds uh, ratios, we had them as circles before. So we're going to select that, format data series, marker options. We're going to hit the circle uh, for the marker fill. Let's do a solid fill. We're going to leave it as black. And for the marker line color, let's leave it as dull white. And to add a bar at the top, we're going to click inside our chart here. We're going to right click, format plot area, and we're going to add a border to the whole chart. So border color, we want it as a solid line. And let's make the width at one point. So let's go ahead and also add a title to our x-axis. We're going to select that, axis titles, and let's call it odds ratios like we did before. Okay everyone, so that's pretty much how to make a fourth plot in Microsoft Excel. Um, if you uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments um, on this page here and I hope you found this video useful and thank you so much for watching.